When we look at failure management in this aircraft, it is important we have our eye on the entire cockpit. Here I have brought forward to you the ECAM displays with the engine warning display and the system display, the attention getters through the master warning and master caution light on the left and right side, the overhead panel, as well as the ECP, the ECAM control panel, which operates the system display and operates through the clear buttons, the ECAM action. You will find detailed information about this in the flight crew technical manual, as I'm referring to down here in the bottom right corner. Let's assume here we get a failure. The first thing we will see is we will get a master warning or master caution with the associated or warning if it exists. Looking closely, you are able to see that the failure title here in Amber brought up an independent failure level one for the APU. This is an APU auto shutdown fault. The master caution light has been illuminated. There was a single chime. And if you look closely, you'll also find here on the APU master switch that there is a fault light. The first action by the crew will be to extinguish the warning system and to identify the failure by reading the title line. This will be done by the first pilot who notices the fault. The standard caller will be master caution, APU, auto shutdown. Once this has been announced, the crew will silently do their own part initially before ECAM actions is announced. The pilot flying will remember the first golden rule, fly, navigate, communicate, and apply these three actions in that order with appropriate sequencing to ensure the safe outcome of the situation. Any type of failure, the pilot flying will do so. Fly, navigate, communicate. Apply this as the pilot flying before you announce ECAM action. In the meantime, the pilot monitoring will verify the failure. You will do that by looking at the system display that was brought up already. Remember these parameters here come through the SDAC. It's the flight warning computer providing the information up here. Once the pilot flying has grasped the situation by applying the first golden rule, he or she will announce ECAM actions. ECAM actions means the task sharing has now changed and the primary objective of the pilot monitoring is to handle the failure. The pilot monitoring will start by listing the failure again, APU auto shutdown, and then follow that by failure verified. Because in those few seconds before ECAM actions was announced, I verified the failure through the system display as well as through the fault light here on the APU master switch. Step two is to do the ECAM action. This is a read and do checklist. So APU master switch off. APU master switch off. When I put the APU master switch off, that title line here will disappear and bring up the next item if applicable. When there are no more items to perform on the checklist here, the pilot monitoring will ask for permission from the PF to clear the fault. This is to ensure the pilot flying can have a glimpse of what is going on and ensure there are no more items to be completed. I will do this by stating the title of the system that has failed. I will simply ask, clear APU. The pilot flying will look down to the display, see there's no more actions and repeat the information, clear APU. When I clear the title of the display here, one of two things is going to happen. If it was a primary failure that had triggered secondary failures, the secondary failures will be indicated. Otherwise, the status page will show up. Here I have an example where you see the secondary failure has been triggered. So once I cleared the failure here, it triggered the secondary failure, which in this case was flight controls, and brought up the flight control page. If you do have a secondary failure coming up, 
the pilot monitoring will simply state secondary failure, flight control, and then will give a very brief description of what he or she sees on this display. This could be in the following manner. Secondary failure, flight control. We have lost the blue hydraulic system for the flight controls and spoilers three on either side. All primary flight controls are operating normal through other means of hydraulics. Clear flight control. Once you have cleared the secondary failures or in case there are no secondary failures, then the status page will show up. The status page is simply a summary of what has happened and the implications it has on the aircraft. You have now completed the procedure and there is no referral to any other procedure unless you have other failures that you haven't dealt with. But before the status page can be read out, the pilot flying should stop the ECAM. So when I reach the status page as the PM, I will announce status and the pilot flying will say stop ECAM. Here we have to consider two things, normal checklists and any computer reset. If we have to perform a computer reset, we will do it at this point. If we have to perform an engine relight, we will do it at this point. And if we had a failure right after takeoff and we need to apply the after takeoff climb checklist, we will do so at this point. Once we have done so, or if there are no actions, and we've verified so, then the pilot flying will announce read status. I will then proceed to read the status as the information presents itself left and right, in this case, inoperative systems, APU. Then I will ask for the removal of the status page by saying removed status, and the pilot flying will look down to verify the information has been read out and then reply remove status. Once I push the clear button down here one last time to remove the status, it will bring back the system display as normal and I will announce ECAM action complete. So when going through a failure, the first thing is to reset the warning system and announce the title. This is done by the first pilot who sees or monitors the failure. Then the pilot flying, fly, navigate, communicate. Do not initiate ECAM actions until you have this under control. Pilot monitoring will in the meantime verify the failure on the system display and the overhead panel. Then the pilot flying will announce ECAM actions. Pilot monitoring will go through by stating again the title of the failure and then doing read and do items. Remember when navigating on the overhead panel, Navigate using system, selector, action. Once you are ready to clear the failure, there are no more action items, then before pushing the clear button, you should get confirmation from the pilot flying by saying clear and then the system title. Once you reach the end of the procedure, you will either be brought to secondary failures or to the status page at which the, at the status page, the pilot flying will say stop ECAM, you will consider here normal checklists and computer resets. And then you will read the status, remove the status, and I will announce ECAM action complete.